We're going to go down. We're going to go up. We're going to go open. We're going to go together. What's up you guys, this has been Sanity and today we're gonna to be training our headstands. Now headstands are, for some people, a really easy movement. For other people, it's a slight challenge. So if you're having trouble with your headstand today, we're gonna to work on a couple things to help make it a lot stronger. For those of you interested in doing more training, make sure you guys hop onto my Patreon training group below. Here we'll be doing monthly workshops, monthly Q and A's, and setting goals, and just really working hard to achieving those goals. So make sure you guys click the link below and get training soon. All right, you guys, so right now, what you're gonna be doing is basically kind of conditioning your head and your headstands just to be able to have that control. Control is one of the biggest things, especially in dancing. Like, you're never gonna like stop, take the time to place your hands, place your head, and get into a hands headstand. That's never gonna happen. You're always gonna be kind of like moving and grooving and boom, headstand, right? So. We have to really be able to have control so that even if our legs are a little bit off to the side or you know in the wrong position or our hands are a little bit off, you know, every single time we're always gonna be able to have control and make it look good. Okay? So we're gonna start off. Let's go ahead and tuck in your shirts because oftentimes when you do a headstand, your shirt flies over your face and it's a total disaster. So let's tuck our shirts in. Alright, you guys, so we're gonna go ahead and we want to place our hands in our little tripod, right? If you guys remember from my, my original headstand tutorial, we want to make a little triangle or a tripod with our head and our hands. Now this can be done in both ways, right? If you're more flexible, you can put it in the back. And if you're, you know, the average human being, you can put it right here in the front, okay? So we're going to start this way. Hands, head. And the first thing I want us to do is actually just practice straightening our legs, right? And once you get to this point, right, even if your knees are bent, that's completely fine. You just wanna be able to kind of find this nice point on your head where uh, you, you feel somewhat comfortable. It's not gonna be comfortable at all, right? But there's a point where it'll be more comfortable than the others, okay? Most of the weight will be on your head and your hands are here for balance, okay? From here, what we wanna to try to do is lift up one leg and extend our toe to try to get us a little bit straighter. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna to try to move this foot around. So we go up and down. We're gonna go side to side. And we're gonna go in a big circle like that. All the way back. We're gonna do the same thing with this leg. We're gonna go up. Extend our toe, we're gonna to go down, we're gonna go side to side, and then we're gonna go in this big circle, maintaining the balance the whole time. The hard part about this is, again, you're not comfortable. This, your head's gonna start hurting, so if you need to wear a beanie, or you have like a padded floor like I do, that definitely helps, okay? So, the next thing that we need to do is actually be able to do a very similar exercise but from our actual headstand, okay? So this is a good starting point. Start there, get comfortable. Now, let's take it to a notch up, okay? Now, we're gonna do the same thing. We wanna get our legs a little bit higher, and you guys can use a chair, I'm using an ice chest, whatever you guys feel works better for you, but it has to be something sturdy. It can't be like, I was thinking you could use a yoga ball, but that's a little bit more advanced because it's gonna wiggle around. We just want to have this to basically stabilize and place our leg on, okay? Let's try it. Get as close to the ice chest as you can, or if you want to go to the side of it, you can, doesn't matter, but as long as you can reach it with your legs from your headstand, okay? Put our head down, place our hands, and just put our feet on the ice chest. This actually puts us in a really nice position to do our headstand, right? I'm on my head, right? My back is somewhat straight and almost like to the level as if I would let go. Okay, so from here let's do those same exercises. We're here, 
Again, make sure you're in a stable position so your whatever you're using isn't gonna like fly away from you. And let's try it again. Bring our leg up. Maybe this time you can go a lot further. You can go back and you go back down and you go to the side and you go to the other side. And then you're gonna do this big circle again with control, making sure that you have balance the whole time. Now with the other leg, we go up, we go down, we go to the side, we go back. And now we go in this big circle all the way in a big circle, right? You can even go the other way as well. The main thing is we want to maintain this balance. Using something to step on, this is kind of a good like crutch into going into the full headstand, right? Because this is a really close to where you will be, okay? So let's actually remove this. And in this whole process, you're also conditioning your neck muscles, you're strengthening it, you're, um, you're becoming more stable so that once we get to the headstand, it's gonna be a lot easier, okay? So now, remove your ice chest or chair, and now we gotta do the real deal. This time using no crutch at all, okay? So just from a headstand, okay? Let's try it. We're just gonna go to a straight headstand first, okay? We go here, place our hands, lift up our legs, lift up one foot at a time to our headstand, okay? And from here, we're gonna try those same exercises. We're gonna go down and we're gonna go up. Now it's a little bit harder because we have to balance, okay? We're gonna bring our leg open here and we're gonna try to bring our leg in a big circle all the way back to here. Same thing with the other leg, we go down, we go up. We go open, we go down. Bring it in a big circle and again, you could even go both ways, right? Trying to stabilize the whole time, okay? Once you get to this point, we have the last and harder exercise. And actually, I don't think it's that hard, but we do want to practice going in these different positions, okay? Same thing. We're gonna go down, we're gonna go up. We're gonna go open, we're gonna go together. All right, take your time on these. If you want to do it a couple times, go open, hold. Go back together, hold. And last but not least, the hardest one, but also one of the most efficient tools for practicing headstands is just going in a big circle. And this is actually somewhat of a difficult task because you're going to have to shift your weight and make sure that you're stable at every given point. Okay, so going in circle both different ways this is gonna really kind of teach you guys um, a lot about how to just have control with your headstand one of the really cool parts about this exercise is along the way you're gonna discover a lot of freezes you're gonna figure out different ways to do freezes you're gonna actually get a lot of ideas and uh, maybe even ideas for moves but make sure that if you're learning headstand start from the beginning start with the easy stuff and then build your way up don't just try to jump into you know circling and going in a circle because you will fall and you know you might even hurt yourself so take your time and if you guys are really interested in training right meaning really working hard having someone pushing you to get better i highly recommend you guys hopping on to my patreon training group we're gonna be doing monthly workshops where we'll be training super hard um, and this will all be online so you guys could watch this from anywhere We'll be streaming right here from my garage and we'll be working extra hard to get better and better and better All right, I hope you guys enjoy this video and to see more content like this Make sure you guys press like press subscribe leave me a comment about what you want to see next and I'll talk to you guys soon peace